hi in last video we connect this system to the internet and now this time we want to connect this system to the internet without giving public ip to this system okay how we can connect you know in vpc all the subnet are interconnected let's see first create this system okay this is go here instance launch instance okay use my email to the micro and then vpc vpc 01 lab 2 and subnet ip disabled we don't need public ip go to attack os2 OS2 in lab security group. Let's keep all traffic anywhere from the internet. Okay, anywhere and launch. <coughs> Give it E, launch it. Check its status. First of all, we need its public private type. This is from the range of 2 means from this network ok copy it and check the OS1 is connected to OS2 not key ping this IP and this is pinging means our OS2 is connected. Replace the page. Let's connect to this is instance, but the instance does not have public IP. So to connect using easy to instance connect browser based client must have public IPv4 address. Okay now but you can see these two system are pinging means one router is there and one is there okay now it's time to set up the connection for this system OS2 okay First we need one device here that's called NAT gateway and always put NAT gateway in the subnet that connected to the internet or public facing subnet and in free tier it's paid so just use it and delete it go to NAT gateway and NG01 Okay, it's subnet lab one lab one connectivity type public means public IP allocate public IP it will give public IP to our net to create it. Now this create one system here. This is the system we go net gateway here. And net gateway has IP of one range of one one ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot one ninety six. Okay, and VPC. Now go to first. We need to tell this system if you want to go to internet, then go to go here and this net gateway change its IP private IP to net gateway is public IP and send it to internet <coughs> <coughs> sorry send it to internet now first we need to tell that 
if you are from subnet to create routing table rt2 vpc vpc01 and create and here in this edit rule see it has one local rule and we need to add one global rule for 0 0 if you want to go to internet then go to first you go to net gateway which net gateway this net gateway save now in subnet 2 still there is no option go here go to subnet which is subnet 2 check subnet 2 ip subnet 2 1776 which is this is the net 2 go to net go to subnet 2 that's lab 2 for us this subnet attach the routing table there is only local route routing table attach the new one it's rt2 and rt2 has two role one for local and one for internet save it okay first we need to go to system 2 but system 2 doesn't have a public ip so we can't go Can direct connect to this let's go to but we know we can connect from this system to this system and then this system to internet first we go to system 1 that's my system 1 and i try to connect to system 2 here and now we go to the em file go to system and check yeah here first we change its permission bad permission okay say bad permission now we can change it yeah here we change its permission change its permission first ok change and now try to connect with the em file and now we connect it to the os2 with ip 192 168 and if from here if we ping google see what happen and see that's pinging that's pinging okay in one in case if i delete the routing table only just routing table edit routing table switch to first default routing and see what happened it means changing the routing table means we are now we are telling if you want to go to internet then there is no address this router drop its packet and see what happened and it's hang up for some time if on the fly if we again change the routing table then what happened okay to here routing table 2 and save now it starts pinging means we are through routing table we are connecting here to there 
here to there but you can't connect to this system 